We are here to glorify our God. Jesus loves you, sir. We are here to praise His holy name. I bind that spirit right now. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son to do what? To save the world. To call the world unto repentance. Because God is not willing that anyone shall perish, but all shall come to repentance. That's the reason Jesus Christ came into this world. Because God loves you. He does not want you to go into hellfire. And that's why Jesus Christ came into this world. To call us to repentance. To restore our life, our destiny. To heal those who are broken hearted. The Bible says, the book of Acts chapter 10, Verse 38, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. Many of you are oppressed by the devil. Many of you are going to anxiety, depression, confusion because you are oppressed by the devil. But Jesus came to heal those who were oppressed by the devil. Jesus came to heal those of the broken hearted. He came and he says, come unto me. That's what Jesus says. Come unto me. Jesus is the only solution for the matter. He's the only solution, my friend. Come unto me. All you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in the heart. And you will find rest for your souls. Today is your day to receive rest for your soul. After you die, there is no rest. Some of the priests are saying, rest in peace to the dead man. But let me tell you something. If today you do not come to Jesus, you will not receive rest for your soul. You cannot rest in peace after you die. Jesus Christ is giving us an example of a rich man who lived his life in luxury. He refused to come to Jesus to follow him. And the Bible says when the rich man died, he was taken to hell. <coughs> he spent his life, his eternity in hell on the lake of fire. Because he refused to come to Jesus. There was no rest for him. He was burning in the lake of fire. My dear friends, Apostle John declared <coughs> Revelation chapter 21. And I want to read for you what he says. Cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Jesus came to tell us that hell has been prepared for the devil and his angels and evil workers, but heaven has been prepared for those who love God and follow Jesus. He says, I am the way. No one comes to my Father except by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. Follow me, and you shall walk in light. Who you follow today will predict your destiny. Who you follow today will take you somewhere, hell or heaven. Jesus is the way to heaven. Only through Him you can enter in the holy place. Only through the blood of Jesus that can sanctify you and cleanse you from all sin. Our sin has separated us from God. But because of His great love, the Bible says God demonstrated His love towards us that while we're still sinning, Jesus died for us. He paid the price for our sins. And today I'm here to tell you, your sins can be washed away today. Your sins can be taken away today. Come to Jesus Christ. 
and receive salvation for your soul. Come to Jesus Christ and receive rest for your soul. There's no rest after you die. Today is your day to enter in the rest of Christ. To have rest for our soul. The Bible says, because of fear, many have been made subject to bondage. Jesus wants to release those who are in bondage. That's why Jesus came on earth. To release those who become subject to bondage all their lifetime because of fear of death. People become subject to bondage. Jesus wants to release you from the oppression of the devil. The devil, he wants to bring you into bondage. But Jesus, he wants to set you free from bondage. Jesus wants to give you the liberty to be free. Come and receive your freedom today. If you will understand the love of God, you will praise Him every day of your life. If you will understand the love of God for you, you will give Him praise every morning, every evening. The Bible is showing us a woman. She was sleeping in her bed. And when she woke up, the man she loved was not there. And the woman, she went in the town at night looking for the man she loved. He says, on my bed, I was looking for one I love. I searched for him, but I did not find him. She says, I will rise now and go about the city and the streets and the squares. I will seek the one I love. I searched for him, but I did not find him. The watchmen who go about the city found me, I said. Have you seen the one I love? Scarcely had I passed by them. When I found the one I love, I held him and would not let him go. My friend, the woman, when she found the man she loved, she keep him at her side. She said she, she never allowed him to go. God loves you. And God sent Jesus Christ to look for you. Jesus came for the lost sheep to look for the lost sheep today Jesus Christ he wants to change your destiny today Jesus Christ he wants to bring you back to God this is what Apostle Paul declared to Corinthians that God was in Christ Jesus reconciling the world unto himself and he have given to us the word of reconciliation for we are ambassadors of Christ that God through me is pleading you in Christ Jesus I beg you make peace with God yes, amen. make peace with God don't live your life in bondage and vain life is too short but the devil bring destruction to your way the devil doesn't know want you to see the reality the devil doesn't know, want you to know that life is too short. Enjoy your life now. As much as you can. That's what the devil says. Tell me the end of your way. If you die tonight, what will be your end? Where are you going to spend eternity? Heaven or hell? Why? Why you want to go hell when Jesus says, come follow me, I bring you to heaven? Many have decided they want to go to hell because they don't believe in hell. But Jesus says, every word that comes out of your mouth, you'll be accountable by it at the day of judgment. When you say to me, now I want to go to hell, at the day of judgment, God will remind you what you have said. My friend, don't go to hell. Hell is burning for eternity. Come to Jesus. Repent of your sins. Heaven is waiting for you. In the same way, the woman, she was looking for the man she loved. God was looking for you. God was looking for you. 
He sent Jesus Christ and Jesus came to look for everyone searching for you were searching for me when the devil wanted me dead to commit suicide to jump in Thames in the river Jesus came to save me hallelujah the devil was telling me jump and you are free but God was showing me mercy God sent Jesus Christ to save me in that morning I'm here to let you know that Jesus Christ he changed my destiny. Jesus Christ, He changed my ways. Jesus Christ, He saved my soul. I'm supposed to be in hell, dead. But Jesus came to save me. He came to release me. He came to heal me. He came to set me free from the power of darkness. From the power of the devil. The devil is real, my friend. The devil is real. The devil has blind many. That's why people don't believe in the gospel. That's why people refuse to believe in Jesus. They have been blind by the devil. What the devil offer you? Drugs? Condoms? What the devil offers you? Cigarettes? Alcohol? Parties? Clubs? People are enjoying serving the devil. People they find pleasure serving the devil the lust of your flesh will bring your soul to hell my friend Jesus wants to set you free from lust of your flesh Jesus wants to set you free from bondage you receive him today tell the devil depart from my life from today I want Jesus because Jesus is the one who can heal me is the one who can save me He's the one who can change my destiny. Jesus is the one who can restore my life. Without Jesus, there is no hope. He's the Prince of Peace. Look people without Christ, they have no peace. Look people's behavior who don't have Jesus Christ. There's no peace in their hearts. They are in fire every day. Their mind never stop thinking. You need Jesus Christ to receive the peace of mind. You need, you need Jesus Christ to receive rest for your soul. Without Christ, there is no hope for you. Hallelujah. God have a plan for your life to give you peace. God have a plan for your life to give you hope and future. Life on earth is too short. Jesus declared, my kingdom is not from here. Jesus came to let us know there is a heavenly kingdom prepared for those who love God. There is peace. There is joy for everlasting, for eternity. No more criminals, no more liars, no more deceivers, no more thieves. In the kingdom of God, there is peace, there is joy, there is everlasting life. Jesus came to let us know. In the kingdom of heaven, the heaven rejoice for one sinner who repent. Your soul matters to God. In heavenly kingdom, there's a celebration for one sinner who repent. Who can say, I have no sin? Who can say, my heart is pure? My friend, we all sin and short of the glory of God. But Jesus came to set us free from sin. Jesus came to pay the penalty of our sins. Apostle Peter says, Jesus, he take our sins and his body on the tree. By his stripes, by his pain, we are healed today. What amazing Savior. He becomes sin for us. He take our sins on the cross. Think about the pain Jesus suffered in your behalf. For you not to go to hell. Think about the price Jesus paid on the cross for your sins. Today you can be set free. Jesus himself bore our sins and his own body on the tree. Having died to sins that we might live for righteousness. God wants you and I to live for righteousness. 
God does not want you to live in sin. God wants you to live for righteousness. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness. For greater will be their reward in heaven. For the kingdom of God belongs to them. Do you prefer to be persecuted because of sinful way of living? I prefer to be persecuted for righteousness. Always to speak the truth. Stop worshipping Satan. Stop speaking lies. Stop deceiving others. Stop stealing. Stop killing. Stop worshiping Satan. Repent today and worship God. Don't go hell, my friend. Satan wants you in hell. The Bible says, Satan has blind many. That's why people don't believe in the gospel. Those people are people of prediction. Satan has blinded them. But Jesus is giving to us commission to bring you out from the power of the devil. That's why Jesus told the Apostle Paul, Go and bring people out from the power of Satan to God. Go and bring people out from darkness to light. That they may receive salvation, forgiveness of their sins. I'm here to let you know. Come to Jesus. Receive salvation for your soul. Come to Jesus. Receive forgiveness of your, of your sins. Come to Jesus. Receive healing. Come to Jesus. Receive rest for your soul. The Bible says in the Gospel of John chapter 3 verse 16. The most beautiful verse in the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. What amazing God. Salvation by grace through faith in Jesus. You can't prove anything to God that you deserve heaven. You can't prove anything to God that you are good enough to make it to heaven. Salvation by grace through faith in Jesus, my friend. And you prove your faith in Jesus by your action, by your deeds. If you say you are a believer in Christ, I can say according to your actions who you are. You can't tell me you believe in Jesus while you're still lying. You can't tell me you believe in Jesus while you're living in sin. Those who believe in Jesus are people who have been set free from sin. The Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, Jesus is a new creation. All things in the past are gone. Everything has become new. The Bible says there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus who walk by the Spirit, not by the desire of the flesh. If you are in Christ Jesus, you move by the Spirit, you are a new creation. You are not a sinner. Jesus declared, he who sin is a slave of sin. But if I set you free, you'll be free. Jesus Christ, he wants to set you free from sin. To be free. The question is, do you want to be free from sin? Or do you prefer to live in sin? And the end of your sin. The price you pay. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But God has a gift for you eternal life through Christ Jesus. Jesus came on earth to die on the cross for your sins, for my sins. Jesus came on earth and became sin for us. He took our sins and his body on the tree. By his pain, by his stripes, we are healed. Come to Jesus Christ today. Receive salvation for your soul. God sent to Jesus Christ looking for the lost sheep. Jesus will never let you go when you come to him. Jesus will give you the victory. Hallelujah. When you come to him. He says, my sheep hear my voice. And they follow me. I give them eternal life. Neither shall anyone take them out of my hand. Jesus made a promise. When you come to Jesus, you become his follower. You become his sheep. And Jesus will take care of you. He will give you eternal life. Jesus will never let you go of you. No one will take you out of his hand. Come to Jesus, my friend. Surrender your life to Jesus. 
Give your heart to Jesus today. Jesus. Tell the devil, devil, depart from my life. I'm not going to serve you anymore. I'm not going to speak lies anymore. I'm not going to steal anymore. I'm not going to kill anymore. I'm not going to deceive others anymore. From today, I will I live righteous. I will speak the truth. Jesus, he gave us the new commandment. Love one another. Jesus came to give us the word to love one another. When you love someone, you don't lie to that person. When you love someone, you don't deceive that person. When you love someone, you don't fight with that person. When you love someone, you don't kill that person. When you love someone, you are taking care of him. Jesus came to give us the instruction. What instruction do you follow? My friends, it's time to make it right with God. Prophet Jeremiah says, The Lord has appeared unto me, saying, I have loved you with everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. Until now, God has kept you well, because He loves you. Until now, God has kept you in good health. Some people are in the hospital paralyzed. Some people are blind. But you, you can walk. You can see the stars in the night, the sun in the daytime. You have all the reasons to give thanks to God. You have all the reasons to give Him praise. But you are too busy. You are too busy. You are depressed. You are confused in your mind. You want to rejoice with the devil together. You have no time to praise God. You have no time to give Him praise. So many signs, so many plagues have come upon the face of the earth from generation to generation because God wants to bring people's attention. The end is coming. Repent. But people refuse to repent. They celebrate with the devil. They enjoy their life. So much prostitution, so much pornography. Internet is full of sex, full of pornography. They enjoy it. They get the money. Money will not save your soul, my friend. The love of money is the root of all evil. People who love money end up in hell. The rich man came to Jesus. What good shall I do to have eternal life? Keep the law. I do it. I keep the law. Anything missing? Jesus told the rich man, sell everything and give to the poor. The rich man turned his back and went away upset. The man did not want eternal life. He was mocking on Jesus. He was a rich man. He was proud in his heart. He was a mocker. He did not want eternal life. He put Jesus to the test. Let me see what Jesus will say. My friend, with money you don't buy God. You don't buy salvation with money. Jesus Christ has given us an example of a woman. She becomes sick. She spent all money with the doctors. At the end, the doctors told her, I'm sorry, I can't do anything for you. I try. I give you my best medicine. I made operation for you. But there is no solution for your, for your illness. And Jesus came to the woman to heal the woman. The money cannot help her. Your money cannot help you, my friend. Only Jesus can help you. In the days of your problems, only Jesus can help you out. Come today to Jesus Christ and receive your freedom. Come today to Jesus Christ and receive salvation. There is no other name given among men to be saved. There is no other name given to men on earth to be saved. Only one name, the name of Jesus. Only Jesus can save your soul, my friend. Only Jesus Christ can heal your sickness. Only Jesus Christ can give you hope and future. The word of God says in Revelation, as many as I love, I rebuke and cast them. God rebuke those who love. God discipline those who love. If you are a father, you have a son, 
Will you not discipline your son because you love him? You want to educate him. You want to discipline your son. How much more God wants to discipline you today because he loves you. The Bible says a man's heart plan his way, but the Lord directs his steps. You plan every day. You make a plan for your journey, but the Lord will direct your steps. I made many plans in my life, but the Lord has directed my steps. I give thanks to Jesus. Hallelujah. I give thanks to Jesus for saving my soul. I give thanks to Jesus Christ for having mercy on me. My friends, you know what happened when you become a member of God's family. You know what happened when you become a follower of Jesus Christ? The Bible says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angel, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor either deep, nor ever created things shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing can separate you from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. When you become a member of God's family, when you become a follower of Jesus Christ, nothing will separate you from the love of God. Jesus will heal you. Jesus will restore your life. Jesus will teach you how to live glorious life on earth to praise God, not to praise the devil. Jesus will teach you how to follow him. Stop worshiping the devil. Stop serving the devil. Jesus declared no one can serve two masters. You can't serve God and Satan at the same time because you love the one and hate the other. Make a decision today who you want to serve. If you want to serve God, follow Jesus. Yes. <inaudible> Crezi că Isus a murit pentru tine? Da. Hai ce faci? Crezi că și-a dorit sângele pentru tine? Stai acum. Da. Crezi? Da. Vrei să te pocăiești? Da. Închide ochii și te roagă. Sfinte Tată. Tată nostru. Care este? roagă de după mine. Sfinte da. Tată. Sfinte Tată. Cred că mă iubești. Cred că mă iubești. Cred că ai trimis pe Isus. Cred că ai trimis. Iisus, în această lume, în această lume să, moară mele, să moară pentru păcatele mele astăzi vin înaintea ta, astăzi vin înaintea ta ca o păcătoasă, ca o păcătoasă. Doamne, Iisuse, Doamne Iisuse te rog iartă-mi păcatele mele nu vreau să merg în iad vreau să vin în rai când voi muri astăzi te primesc ca Domn și Mântuitor să fii păstor Vieții mele. Vieții te rog, mele. vină în inima mea. Te rog, vină în inima mea. Amin. Amin. Aleluia. Masa calabrașanda. Le colobro și cabasanda, rabahanda. Dică te în picioare. Cum te cheamă? Petronela. Lasă plasa aia jos. Închide ochii și am să te un cu un de lemn. Ca Domnul să te vindece. De unde ești, Petronela? De la Ios. Aleluia. Închide ochii. Sfinte Tată, îți mulțumesc pentru Petronela că astăzi a acceptat-o ca fiind fica ta. Biblia spune, toți cei care l-au primit, le-a dat dreptul să devină copii al lui Dumnezeu. De astăzi Dumnezeu ți-a dat dreptul să devii o fică al lui. Biblia spune că dacă ne mărturisim păcatele, El este drept și credincios să ne ierte păcatele și să ne curețe de orice fără de lege. Sângele Fiului Său, Iisus Hristos, care s-a vărsat pe cruce pentru tine, ne curețe de toate păcatele. Astăzi declar că păcatele tale sunt iertate, sunt șterse. În numele Lui Iisus Hristos. Haleluia! Declar sângele Domnului Iisus Hristos peste viața ta, peste trupul tău, peste sufletul tău și Domnul te-a iertat în această zi. În numele Lui Iisus Hristos, fi iertată. Haleluia! Haleluia! Sângele Domnului Iisus te curețe de orice fără de lege. Biblia spune că este sărbătoare în cerul pentru un suflet care se pocăiește. Astăzi este sărbătoare pentru tine locuința cerească. Petronela, ai spus? Da. 
Doamne, mă rog ca Tu să o atingi cu Duhul Tău ce sfânt pe Petronela, mă rog Dumnezeule Tată ca Tu să o vindești, Doamne, mă rog ca Tu să ne părtezi orice duc satanic din trupul ei. Din numele Lui Iisus Hristos, Aleluia! Poruncesc oricărui duh ca să iasă afară din trupul acesta. Duh de drag, ieși afară, din numele Lui Iisus Hristos. Amin. Duh de drog, duh, ieși afară, din numele Lui Iisus Hristos. Duh Amin. de băutură, ieși afară, din numele Lui Iisus Hristos. Duh de țigară, ieși afară, din numele Lui Iisus Hristos. Mal de broșii carabasandara, calebo saca tarabasanda, din numele Lui Iisus Hristos din Nazaret. Fii vindecată, fii eliberată, din numele Lui Iisus Hristos din Nazaret. Mal de brasa catarabasanda, Poruncesc oricărui duc demonic, ieși afară, din numele Lui Iisus Hristos, ieși afară, din numele Lui Iisus Hristos, din numele Lui Iisus Hristos, ieși afară, duc de drac, ieși afară, din numele Lui Iisus Hristos, fie liberată Petronela, din numele Lui Iisus Hristos de Nazaret, fie liberată, din numele Lui Iisus Hristos de Nazaret, mal de broșii carabasanda, Mali brosa carabasanda Doamne Dumnezeu le atinge cu Duhul Tău atinge cu Duhul Tău Doamne Și vindecă Doamne Tu ai venit Iisuse pe acest pământ Să-i vindești pe cei Care au fost opresați de diavolul Doamne vindecă pe Petronela În numele Lui Iisus Hristos din Nazaret Rabashanda, Rabakanda în numele Lui Iisus Hristos din Nazaret, fi eliberată. În numele Lui Iisus Hristos din Nazaret, fi vindecată. Poruncesc ca aceste duhuri să nu se întoarcă la tine înapoi. În numele Lui Iisus Hristos. Poruncesc ca aceste duhuri de demon să nu se întoarcă la tine. Fie ca focul lui Dumnezeu să te înconjoare, Dumnezeu să pună un zi de foc în jurul tău. Haleluia! Pe numele Lui Iisus Hristos de Nazaret. Amin. Amin. Fii binecuvântată. Amin. Trebuie să găsești o adunare. Să ai părteșie cu frață. Și acolo Dumnezeu te va întări. Cunoști o adunare pe aici? Nu cunoști? Nu Nu cunoști? Nu. Nu cunoști. Dar tu unde stai? Pe stradă. Da? Cu cine ești pe aici? Ai, pe, ai cunoștință. Nu ai. Tu ai telefon. N-ai telefon. M-a rugat pentru tine. Dumnezeu să te păzească. Dumnezeu să te călăuzească cu Duhul Lui. Aleluia. Caut o biserică. Aleluia. Întreabă, caut o biserică. Și să mergi în biserică. Pentru că ai nevoie de trupul lui Hristos. Ai nevoie de frași și de surori. Să nu stai singură. Amin? Amin. Amin. There is power. In the blood of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. My friends, today Jesus wants to set you free. Today Jesus wants to heal you. Today Jesus wants to restore your life. Today Jesus Christ will command every demon to depart from your life. Today Jesus Christ will cover you with his blood. It will be well with you. It shall be well with you. When you come to Jesus, it shall be well with you. When you come to Jesus, Jesus Christ will give you the victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus Christ will give you the victory. We know love because Jesus laid down his life for us. I know that God loves me because Jesus Christ laid down his life for me. Hallelujah. There is no greater love than this for a friend to give his life for his friend. But Jesus, he gave his life for us all. Glory be to him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me the victory. Hallelujah. Today I'm here to let you know that God demonstrates His own love towards us 
while we are still sinners, Christ died for us. Hallelujah. Christ died for us. Jesus, God, has delivered us from the power of darkness and he has transferred us into the kingdom of his son, Jesus Christ. I have been delivered from the power of darkness. I have been transferred into the kingdom of his son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What amazing God. This is what is happening when you receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. This is what is happening when you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. God will transfer you from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. Hallelujah. Say yes to Jesus today. Your destiny will change. Your life will change. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 1 verse 5 to 6. Jesus Christ who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood made us kings and priests to his God the Father. Jesus has made me a priest and king for his God the Father. Best yet to come. Hallelujah. The best yet to come. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. He came to share the glory of God with me. Jesus Christ came to share the glory of God with us. Those who come to Him. Those who walk with Him. Make decision today to walk with Jesus. Tell the devil, devil depart from my life. From today I walk with Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says that in Jesus we have redemption through His blood. The forgiveness of sin according to the riches of His grace. What amazing God. Amen. I have been redeemed. Jesus is Lord. Amen, brother. Hallelujah. You should come here to take the microphone and tell everyone Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God says, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan to come and worship before your feet. To know that I have loved you. Your enemy will come to your feet and bow before you. Why? God wants to show them you are a beloved child of God. You are a beloved daughter of God. It is a promise of God. When you make decision to follow Jesus, your enemy will make peace with you. My friends, I have an enemy. But since I say yes to Jesus... My enemy become my friend. Hallelujah. Now, now, my enemies, they become my friends. The Bible says, if God finds pleasure in the ways of men, he will make his enemies to be at peace with him. When you walk with God, and God is pleased with you, God will make your enemy to be at peace with you. It is written. Someone told me I will kill you when I... When I will see you. But God said no. God came to change my life to Christ Jesus. God has restored me. He has redeemed me. He has changed me. And Jesus Christ was taking over the boat. He is my shepherd. I shall not want. From that moment of time. Jesus Christ. Answer every prayer I pray. My enemies become my friends. Why? Because Jesus is the leader of the boat, is the captain of the boat. Jesus is the head of my life. And when Jesus Christ becomes the head of your life, your enemies will make peace with you. Yes, amen. Because all the power and the glory and the authority has been given to Jesus Christ. Amen. To Jesus Christ, the authority has been given by God the Father. Satan has no authority. The authority belongs to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I am a living testimony that the devil is a loser. I am a living testimony that Jesus Christ has all the authority and the power. Jesus changed my life. He has set me free from the power of darkness, Amen. from drugs, from homelessness. Jesus Christ has blessed my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My friends, 
Jesus is the good shepherd. And the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. He loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. God loved us. He sent Jesus Christ to be the propitiation of our sins. What manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that we should be called the children of God. I am a child of God. The moment I receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, I become a child of God. I have a question for you. Do you want to become a daughter of God? Do you want to become a child of God? Or do you prefer to walk with the devil? What is your answer? What is your answer? What is your option? Do you want to be a child of God? Come and follow Jesus. Beloved, let us love one another. For God is love. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. That's it. If someone says, I love God and hate his brother, is a liar. For he who does not love his brother who has seen, how can he love God? He has not seen. He who loves God must love his brother also. If we love one another, God abides in us. And his love has been made perfect in us. That's it. That's it. Let us love one another. So the love of God has been made perfect in us. Do not love the world. Do not love the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, says the Lord, the love of the Father is not in him. Do not love the world. Love God more than anything else. Hallelujah. Love one another as he commanded us. This is what Jesus says in the Gospel of John, chapter chapter 13, chapter 13, verse 33, 34. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. If we love one another, we are his disciples, the disciples of Christ Jesus. The devil does not want you to love anyone. All what the devil wants you to fight, to steal, to kill, to deceive. But God, God wants you to love somebody today. God wants you to forgive someone today. When Jesus he teach us how to pray, how we end the prayer, forgive our sins as we also forgive those who sin against us. The same way you forgive others, your God will forgive you the same way. Jesus declared, those who do not forgive, your heavenly Father will not forgive you. For you to forgive someone, you need to see Jesus. You need to know Jesus. You need to look on Jesus. Jesus on the cross has forgiven us all. Look on Jesus Christ and learn from him. Hallelujah. This is my message to you today. Apostle John says, we know that we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. My friends, it is time to make decision. Better love God instead of loving the devil. Better obey God instead of obeying the devil. Make today decision. The question is, are you willing to open your heart to Jesus today? Are you willing to surrender your life to Jesus today? To become the shepherd of your life? If you are willing to do that, please close your eyes and pray this prayer after me. How many of you want Jesus? Raise up your hands. How many of you do you want Jesus Christ to be the Lord of your life, to be the shepherd of your life, to be the healer of those of the broken hearted? How many of you? If you are here and you are the one that makes sure you spend eternity in heaven, not in hell, close your eyes and pray after me. This is the prayer of salvation that can save your soul from the lake of fire. If you are here and you want to make your ways right with God, right now you have opportunity to pray with me. Please close your eyes and pray after me. Let's pray. Father God, I believe you love me. 
I believe you sent Jesus Christ in my world to die in the cross for my sins. Today I confess I am a sinner. Lord Jesus, please forgive me of my sins. I don't want to go hell. I want to come to heaven when I die. Today I receive you as Lord and Savior. Please come into my heart. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, if you have prayed this prayer, the good news is, Bible says in Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 12, Everyone who received Him will believe in Him. God has given them authority to become God's children. From today you've been authorized to be a child of God, to be a daughter of God. Also the Bible says, if we confess our sins, He is faithful to forgive us and the blood of His Son washing our sins away. From Amen. today your sins are washed away. Thank From you, today you are forgiven. Thank and also the Bible says there is a celebration in heavenly places for one sinner to repent. That is a celebration for you in heaven. Plus, God will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will transform your life. Jesus came to save. And the Holy Spirit is given to you as a promise. That God is going to be with you for the rest of your days. The Holy Spirit will transform your life. The way you speak. The way you behave. The Holy Spirit will teach you the way to follow. This is my message to you today. May the Lord God bless you. May the Lord God have mercy on you all days of your life. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. God bless you, Oxen Circus. God bless you all. Remember, Jesus loves you and I love you too. something and you see it take place then you just stand in awe of that God that you worship this evening we pray just for one soul that would come and pray and receive Christ into their lives and within 30 seconds of that prayer being made a lady was touched by God and came to receive prayer that's the God that we serve you see, when you come into a relationship with God, it's not just an outward form of religion. It's a living relationship. What you ask for in prayer, believing, and it will be done. We were preaching the gospel across the road there about an hour ago, and the devil sent people to try and distract us. The same thing happened. We prayed, and within one minute, that person was removed. But those that know their law know how it happens. It happens because you are connected with the God of this universe. Now, you, can anyone tell me, how can you compare anything in this world to a relationship with the God that made it? You can have a conversation with God just like you have a conversation with your best friend or your mother or anyone else. It's a two-way thing. You pray and then you receive. And it's exciting when you lay hands on the sick and you see them heal. It's exciting when somebody comes out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. When lives are saved, when lives are transformed, when someone finds their purpose, when someone finds their identity. What a great thing. 
It is to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. He will give you a peace that passes understanding. Now, I don't know about you, we need that peace at the moment. Because this world is falling apart. There is so much confusion in this world. There is so much insecurity. We don't even know whether we have enough fuel for the next day. We don't even know whether there's going to be enough food in the supermarket when we go. You see, there is no certainty in this world. The only thing that is certain is the Lord Jesus Christ. That is why he's called the rock. The songwriter says, on solid rock I stand, all other ground is like sinking sand. Whatever you put your trust in, it will fail you. Relationships can fail. Businesses can fail. Your health can fail. You see, you, you, your health is not guaranteed. Your life is not guaranteed. Even tomorrow, you don't know whether you're going to be alive or dead. But I want to encourage you today that you can receive eternal life. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is life through our Lord Jesus Christ. You can receive the love and the joy and the peace of God and the hope in the age to come. That is the excitement it is to be a Christian that we are living not just for this life, but the life to come. A time without any end. I want to encourage you today. Lean on the Lord. Let our anxiety be removed by a living relationship with the God of peace. Let the love of God, the agape love, the unconditional love. You see, no one can love you the way God loves you. See, people may love you for what they receive from you. But to receive the love of God because you have value, not that you've earned it, it is a free gift. But why would we, why would we reject that? Why are we replacing the love and the joy and the peace of God for what this world has to offer? But it's all an illusion. Whatever in this world, it's only for a season. It's like sugar-coated sweets. It pleases just for a short period of time, but it leaves you empty. I want to encourage you to take that step of faith and the Lord Jesus Christ says it will be like living water flowing from you. You will never thirst again when you have the life that comes of God through you. I want to encourage you, as a world that's falling apart, there is hope. God never intended you to go through life with the anxiety and the stress and the fear. You see, when you come to the Lord, he will take away that spirit of fear and give you love, power, and a sound mind. Your mind can be at rest knowing that the Lord is in control. I want to encourage you, whatever you're going through today, there is hope, there is salvation, there is healing. Those of you who are going through sickness, I want to ask you to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and He will heal if you really believe. The Bible says it's impossible to please God without faith. Believe that the Lord will change your life. All you have to do is step out in faith, trusting. Ask anything in prayer, believing, and it will be done. Nicodemus went up to Jesus and said, what do I need to do to inherit the kingdom of God? And Jesus said, unless you're born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. You see, you need to be born again of the water and of the spirit. When the word of God comes, it washes you. It cleanses you. When the spirit of God comes and dwells within you, then you become a child of God. Those that are led by the Spirit are those that are sons and daughters of the Most High. You can have that relationship if you only believe. We want to encourage you here in the West End this evening after a stressful week 
Let your heart be at rest. Rest in the Lord Jesus Christ. He can give you love that passes all knowledge. Peace that passes all understanding. He is a very present help in time of need. He can save to the utmost. You know, there's nothing that's impossible for God. You've just got to believe. I don't care how long you've had that cancer. I don't care how long you've had that back pain. God is able if you only trust Him. I don't care how long you've been in debt. God can turn that around. He specializes in impossible cases. He loves it when He turns people's weaknesses into strength. God is a good God. Will anyone trust Him this evening? Trust Him with your soul to enter into the kingdom of God. Trust Him to do something in your life. Many of you are just going through the motions. You're not really living. You're just surviving. You wake up in the same way. Seeking the thing and you're chasing the wind. But God wants to give you life and life in its abundance don't believe the lies of the enemy anymore you see satan has deceived the whole world can you imagine that the devil has deceived the whole world he's got you all believing that god doesn't exist he's got you all believing that you're just here randomly let your mind be on things above the bible says Think on those things above, not just look at the material that you see around you. You may be going to your clubs and your pubs this evening, but just think about the purpose for life. Do you think that God made this world and made you just to follow your, your desires, your addictions? I want to tell you today there is more to life than what you're experiencing. Come to Him and He will give you rest. Ask and it will be given, the Bible says. Seek and you will find. Many of you are seeking for something, but you're seeking in the wrong places. Seek God with all your heart and you will find Him. You know, what this world needs is love. Can you imagine if we had a relationship with a God of love and then we were able to love one another as ourselves? You see, when you love somebody, you wouldn't want to steal from them. You wouldn't want to gossip or lie about them. You wouldn't want to lust after them because they would have value. Everyone has value in the kingdom of God because the Bible says that we are beautifully and wonderfully made. If we knew that, we wouldn't want to steal. We wouldn't want to use them and exploit them. But I'm afraid we live in a society that is very selfish. We use one another. We exploit one another. It's never the way that God intended it. There is another way. I would encourage you, come away from the broad way that leads to destruction and come onto the narrow way that leads to life. That path is still available today. God's mercy, God's grace is still available today. But there'll come a time where enough is enough. God will say, mankind has gone too far now. You're mocking me. You rebelled so much that you've corrupted this world completely that it'll have to wash it. It'll have to cleanse it like it did before. The Bible says, just as in the days of Noah, such it will be when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back. People are just going about with their business not looking after God or seeking. Their focus wasn't on things above. The wickedness was so much, it didn't know any bounds. And God said, enough is Amen, enough. Then he chose Amen. to bring judgment. So the world then was flooded. The rain started to come down. And then people realized that Noah was right all the time. This is a warning to us in today's world that this world has been set apart for judgment by fire. One day this world will pass away. We want to encourage you today to seek the Lord while you can. 
There is more to life than what you are living. God gave you life. God gave you life to glorify Him and to worship Him. You see, you have to worship something. If you're not worshipping God through the Lord Jesus Christ, then you're worshipping the things of this world, the material things. You see, you can make an idol with something other than God. Whatever you put in your life before God is your idol. Many put money before God. You serve mammon. But God says you can't serve God and mammon at the same time. Many have put relationships before God. Putting finance before God. It doesn't satisfy. Only God can satisfy because you were made by God and for God. And when you come into a relationship with God, then it makes sense. There is a void in everyone. That it can only be filled with God through the Messiah, Jesus. We want to encourage you that age is about to pass away. Can you not see the signs of the times are all around us? We are living in the last days. This is the last call going out. You need to be sober minded. I cannot find you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Seek the Lord while you can. Seek Him. Because today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is not promised. There's no guarantee that you will be able to seek Him tomorrow. You don't know how long you have. But we are warning you now, many of you, have, you've heard the message before, but you're resisting it. Why are you resisting a message of love, a message of forgiveness, a message of healing? God is there to do good to you. God is for you, not against you. So why are you resisting Him? Why are you continuing in your rebellion against God? This country used to honour I used to respect the things of God. Our laws of this land were based on Christianity. We knew what was right and what was wrong. Now that we've turned away, look at what's happening. We are reaping what we have sown. There is deception. There's lies in the lands. We have leaders that are blind guides. They make it up as they go along. Have you not noticed? That the world we live in today is not the certain world that we lived in 10, 20, 30 years ago. They will tell you one thing one day and change their minds the next. But I want to say to you, Jesus is the same today as he was yesterday and forevermore. He will never let you down. He is certain. You know, the Bible says that he is faithful even when you're not faithful. God is faithful to you. His love will endure forever. His mercy will endure forever. Put your trust in Him today while you can. He is a good God. Not one that is there waiting to punish you. Every time you make a mistake, there is grace in God. He empowers you. He washes you. He cleanses you. He picks you up every time you fall. We're here not because we're anything better than anyone else. We're here because we've chosen to serve God. We've realized our need for God. We realize that we've fallen short of the standards of God. And we've come into alignment with the Word. And we've asked to be forgiven. And we've been forgiven. And we've received the peace of God and the love of God. That same peace. God wants to give to you. What are you waiting for? Don't wait until you're on your deathbed. Don't wait until your business fails. Don't wait until the economy collapses. Call upon Him today while you can. The signs of the times are all around you. This week we had no fuel. Next week we might not have any food. Nothing is certain in this world apart from the love of God. Apart from God that created this world and created us. We were created for His good pleasure. But the further we move away from God, 
the more difficult it's going to become. God's hand of protection, God's blessing is being removed. Why did God send two people to murder people with bears when they mock someone with a bald head? That is a loving God. Is it? Is God loving when he sends bears to maul children? Is that loving when you just want to snatch the microphone? Yeah, it is. I'm preaching your words. I'm preaching your words. You see, people say, oh, uh, we're not loving. But he's quite happy to come up in and snatch the microphone from me. You see, the world system is corrupt. They say to me, well, you're not preaching message of tolerance. But then they don't tolerate me for preaching my right for freedom of speech. They want to stop me from speaking the message of love and forgiveness and peace and joy. Really? So what do you want to do? This is a free country. I want to thank my God that this is still a free country. I want to thank God for the queen of this country who is the defender of the faith. I want to thank God that I still live in a free country where I'm able to speak truthfully. You see, if I was in another country, I could be arrested for speaking the truth. In certain countries, I could have my head chopped off. I could have chains put upon me and put in prison for speaking the truth of the gospel message. I want to thank my God for the heritage of this country. We went around the world preaching the good news of the kingdom of God. Christianity was spread to Africa, spread to America. And they are Christian today because of missionaries. But what's happened now? People have turned their back on God. We've had to ask people from France. We've had to ask people from Romania to come here and preach the gospel. Because people that were born here have turned their back on God. To serve idols instead of the living God. Today is the day of salvation. Why are you resisting him? Just like the Israelites of old in the wilderness, they resisted God. They tempted him. They should have called upon him, they should have obeyed him, but they ended up in the wilderness and staying in the wilderness and dying. They never entered into the promises of God. Many of you are not going to be able to enter into the kingdom because you're not prepared to surrender your life. You love your sin more than the promises of God. For what? Many of you have been living in sin for 20, 30, 40 years. Is your life satisfied? Is it really? Have you found that person that really does make a difference? All that money that you've accumulated, does it make you happy? Does it give you joy? The joy only comes from a living relationship with God. That's the strength that we have as believers. When we have the peace of God because of our right standing with God. We can say that we're righteous today. Not because of anything that we've done. But because of our faith that we've placed in the Messiah. Do you know what? You cannot put a value on a clear conscience. When you can stand before God knowing that your sin is forgiven. That's why the Bible says, blessed is the man whose sin is forgiven. When I woke up this morning, I asked God to cleanse me and wash me. And what an overwhelming sense of peace I had upon me. And that's why I've come out this evening to encourage you. Even if it's just one person this evening that gives their life to the Lord Jesus Christ. As we've heard before, there's so much rejoicing that goes on in heaven just when one soul is transferred from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Just one person. It makes it worthwhile. It's worth the sacrifice of being here on the street for five or six hours just if one person turns to God. It is worthy. Your life will never be the same. Any man that's in Christ is a new creation. Old things have passed away. You don't need to serve sin any longer. Whatever holds you bound can be broken. Those chains of sin can be broken in the name of Jesus. There is power in Jesus' name. You don't need to be a slave of sin. You can obey and live righteously. God's not expecting it to happen in your own strength. He's there to help you. 
He wants to give you his gift of spirit and place it within you. Wow. How can you compare that to anything this world has to offer? Encourage you today. Seek him while you can. Oxford Circus. God bless you all and have a great weekend in Jesus' name. Taking it somewhere or you're rushing? I'm going, I'm going Wickham tonight, but anything going that way. Which area? Wherever's going west. You're going west? Whereabouts are you? Where are you staying tonight? Wood Green. Wood Green, that's fine. I'll go Wood Green and then go to North Circuit, that's fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Are you coming up? Uh, we're going now. Uh, are you going to be 10, 15 minutes? Huh? Yeah, we're going. Yes. You've been preaching all day, yeah? Okay, my dear friends, we are ending up here to, for the day. Just to let you know that we are not ashamed of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because Apostle Paul says, it is the power of God unto salvation for those who believe. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ has power to save. The Bible also says that those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ will perish from the presence of God for eternity. That's why it's very important to believe in the gospel and obey. Obey the instruction of our Lord Jesus Christ. Obey the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus says, be merciful to others. When Jesus says, bless are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. When Jesus says, bless are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. When Jesus says, Blessed are those who mourn for righteousness, for they shall be fulfilled. When Jesus says, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. We need to understand the heart of God. We need to understand the instruction of our Lord Jesus Christ Jesus came to instruct us to live in peace with one another to love one another to forgive one another the gospel has power to save as long as you become obedient to the gospel as long as you become obedient to the instruction that Jesus is giving to us. Have power to save. Don't be ashamed of Christ Jesus. Jesus doesn't teach anyone to kill. Jesus teaches you to forgive one another. That's the gospel of Jesus. I don't know what you learned in the school. But I can tell you. Only Jesus can save you. Only Jesus can transform a life. Only Jesus Christ can change your destiny. Today is your day to say yes to Jesus. Today is your day to receive forgiveness, salvation for your soul. This is my message to you today. May the Lord God bless you. And may the Lord God protect you. And I pray that God will touch you by His Spirit. Will save your soul.
from destruction. If anyone here you need prayer, you can come forward, I will pray for you. You need prayer? If you need healing, we are going to pray for healing. If you need deliverance, we are going to pray for you to be delivered, to be set free. Whatever needs you have, we are going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. And may the Lord God keep you. God bless London. God bless your family. And God bless your nation. God bless you. It's finished in the battery. That's fine. Okay, brothers and sisters, I'm going to end up here today. It was a blessed day. Someone, one lady gave his life to Jesus, her life to Jesus. She's from Romania, Petronella. Please pray for her. She gave her life to Jesus. It's amazing what God is doing in London. We don't force anybody, but we're going to agree in, in, in prayer that the Lord is going to touch you and forgive you for whatever you've done. You, you, you see your need for God, don't you? You know that you are a sinner, don't you? Oh, fuck yeah, everyone is. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, you'll be surprised. We meet people here. I, I've never seen. Do you want to offer your life to Jesus today? Uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to surrender your life to Jesus? You want to you want to make sure you will spend eternity in heaven the day when you die? Uh, Jesus is the way to heaven. Oh, it is, it is, it is. Um, what do I got to do? I'm going to start praying. Take that step of faith. No, you don't need to. Just receive him into your life. We're going to pray, but agree with what we're saying in your heart. I agree, yeah. Okay. Do you we're believe Jesus died on the cross for your sins? Yes. You believe that? Oh, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you repented before him? Clearly not. Um, you want to do it go, now? I don't Repent is deciding that you're, you're changing direction, that you're not yeah, yeah. going to sin. You want to do it now you? to confess your sins before you? No, I don't think so. Mm. All right. Okay, frații și surori, termin acum predica, s-a terminat. Vom, în seara asta voi merge la uh, noapte de rugăciune, la biserică, în Londra. Luni merg înapoi la Nottingham, până luni voi fi în Londra, slăvit să fie Domnul, că ne dă putere să vestim Evanghelia. Vă bucur că un alt suflet a primit pe Iisus Hristos în această seară. O femeie pe care o cheamă Petronela spunea că este pe stradă diferența drogurilor și ea l-a acceptat pe Iisus ca Domnul în această zi, această seară. Slăviți să fie Domnul, vă rog să vă rugați în continuare pentru mine ca Domnul să mă păzească, ca Domnul să mă ungă cu putere, cu îndelemnul lui Cel Sfânt și să-mi dea autoritate. Aleluia! Domnul să vă binecuvinteze și mă rog ca Domnul să vă asculte rugăciunea. God bless you, my brothers and my sisters. We end up here. Have a lovely evening. Amen. Yeah,